Android M is the latest and greatest Android operating system that will be pushed to devices later this year and into 2016, and while it's still brand new, there might be features that will be added or taken away. I've decided to compile 10 hidden or lesser known features of Android M that I want to share with you guys. Now, a couple of these features I already mentioned in my walkthrough video of Android M, so if you guys want to check that out, you can click right here. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at 10 hidden or secret features of Android M worth checking out. So the first hidden feature of Android M that actually wasn't announced at Google I.O. is the full state app backup functionality, which is certainly worth mentioning. Android M will actually back up all of your app preferences and settings into Google Drive so that when you back up your device or you switch devices and back up all your info, it'll just be so much more seamless than it ever was before. Apps won't only be reinstalled, but they'll actually be fully set up and working just like you left it last on your previous device and uh, apps won't have to be compatible with this feature, they'll just naturally work as long as you're running Android M, since this feature and this functionality is baked into Android M, which is pretty awesome. In addition, you can now customize that darn quick settings notification drawer that slides down from the top. Settings like airplane mode, auto rotate, flashlight, screencast, they can all be customized, added, or removed from the quick settings drawer, which is a feature that was just desperately needed to be added to Android, and now it finally is thanks to Android M. You can now uninstall apps directly from the home screen, which sounds super simple, but it actually wasn't available in previous versions of stock Android, so now we have it. Now when an app is on your home screen, you just long press on it, and you have the options to remove it from the home screen or uninstall it from your device entirely. Some smaller new improvements include 5 GHz tethering as opposed to the previous 2.4 GHz tethering. Android M also now features A2DP Bluetooth streaming, which is a higher quality Bluetooth streaming protocol that is now baked into the operating system, so developers can take better advantage of it. It's not the highest quality Bluetooth streaming protocol, but it's a step in the right direction and it's certainly better than what has been baked into previous versions of stock Android. Now there's also expanded support for external storage, so if your device has a micro SD card, it'll now be treated as if it were native storage. Doze is a new feature that works in the background of Android M and just works to save you a ton of battery life. It uses the sensors built into your smartphone or your tablet to determine when you're not using your device so that it will ultimately increase standby time by disabling certain functions that you're not using and you don't really need running in the background. It's one of my top two or three features of Android M because I feel like battery life is one of the biggest issues and biggest problems with the Android OS, and I think it could definitely be improved, and that's something that manufacturers don't really care about nowadays, especially with these flagship Android smartphones that are super thin and sleek, but have terrible battery life. So if it improves battery life, I'm all for it. Now hidden deep in the developer preview of Android M, we now have a dark theme setting. When the final build of Android M is pushed to devices later this year, we might very well see a dark theme option, which will uh, probably take advantage of OLED displays and ultimately save battery life by having the menu and the settings drawers all black. There's also an automatic mode, which will automatically switch the theme depending on the lighting situation. So if you're in a low light area, it'll switch to dark so that you're not blasted with, with light. Now hidden further in tablets that are running Android M with the developer preview, of course, there are a couple new exclusive features that Tim from QBKing77 discovered. First of all, there's now going to be multi-window support baked into the operating system. So you can now have true multitasking by running more than two apps at a single time, and it works very well, as you can see here from this video. You'll actually be able to run up to four windows at a single time, which is awesome, and it actually might make me want to use tablets again. In addition, there is also a split keyboard function, which we might see in the final build of Android M, that will just allow you to type more effectively on large displays like tablets. Once again, though, these features are exclusive to tablets running the developer preview of Android M, so whether or not they come to smartphones with large displays, I'm not sure. Um, I'm just glad that Google is working on these features because they are uh, much requested and could seriously improve the overall experience of Android. But with that last one, these are 10 hidden or secret features of Android M that you should definitely keep an eye out, but also keep in mind that this is a developer preview and a lot can change between now and when the final version of Android M is released, so just keep that in mind. But I'm really looking forward to these features. I've already really enjoyed using some of them on my Nexus 6. But now it's your turn. Let me know which feature you like the best by leaving me a comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you're brand new to this channel. As always, I'm BoHD. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.